whenever you decide to watch this. My name is Diana and I'm 25 years old. I've been a hairdresser and also working with Matrix for the past seven years. I was able to get the opportunity when I was a senior in high school to go to cosmetology school as well. I managed to go to high school, beauty school, and work the full-time job in retail on top of that. I love working with Matrix because they cover the bases of all hair types, whether you have curly hair, frizzy hair, flat, straight hair like myself. It covers all of that. There's a product for everyone and every type of hair, which is great. So now that you know a little bit about me, let's get on into hair. So I already have my sections. I like to do diagonal sections in the back so you get more of a natural look. And then we sectioned out her part and the two sides. So what I like to do, start at an angle. We're going to do a little slice. For me, I love to weave and tease. And we're doing some peekaboo because we previously lightened her a couple weeks ago little tease, not going too high. All right. So now what we're going to do, saturation is key. Finer sections equals a faster lift and more even. So we're just gonna pull all that through. Work our way up, doing downward strokes, and then towards the top, feather that out going up. Make sure we're all good. I always do one fold so we don't spread the bleach out and get lines of demarcation. Fold it up, tuck it away, and we have our first foil. Moving on. Second one, same thing, diagonal. We're gonna weave, we're gonna tease, and then we are going to saturate. Start at the mid shaft and then I swirl the bottom up. Make sure to get lots of lightener on there. Work our way up. Feather it up towards the T's. Fold and tuck it in. So now we have our first two foils. Now I'm going to Take this section down. Same thing, we are going on diagonals. And we're doing more of a peekaboo. So you can take thicker sections in between. Got our nice diagonal. Tuck this up and repeat. So as I finish up the back, I will get to you guys when I make it to the top and the front. Now that we have most of the back done, this little triangle diamond piece right by the crown, I like to go horizontal and do the exact same thing, section, weave, and then tease. And then that's that.
All right, now that we're done with the whole back, we're gonna spin her around. And now we're going to the sides. Same thing, going in on a diagonal. Get those money pieces looking nice. Same thing that we did with the back. So once I'm done with both of the sides, we will get to the nice front pieces. Catch you guys in a few. So I just finished the back, the sides, and now we're doing the money pieces in the front. So we did previously lighten her a couple weeks ago. So we just want to get that extra little boost in there, kind of cut out some of this brassy tone because the toner did fade out just a smidge. So I did go in with my 30 volume with the new bleach with the bonder on the inside, up to eight levels of lift. And now I just mix a little bit more using 10 volume because we don't want to lift it too much and make it too much lighter than everything else. So what I normally do, section these pieces out. I go right to the very front, just section these out. Still leaving some root. And then I do the same thing. Weave. Tease it a little bit and then we saturate. So once I'm all done with that, I will show you what she will look like once we're done with the front pieces. our foils in the front. This is what the finished product looks like for right now. So now we're going to set a timer for about 20 minutes. We'll see how that looks. Probably going to have to sit on longer because her base color is a level three. So we'll catch back in about 20 to 30 minutes and we'll see where we're at. Now we're back after about 35 minutes of her processing. We're looking great. We're going to shampoo her and take her down now. We're going to start off with using our new bleach finder, get all the bleach particles out, make sure her hair is all good for the second step of toning. Then we're gonna follow up with the purple shampoo as a pre-toner before we get into covering her roots and putting the toner in. Let's get started. into her root with a 3N color sink because she has less than 50% gray. We're only doing a partial color because she only gets grays mainly right around her hairline and right where she parts her hair. And then we're gonna go into her ends with a 7VA and 8A color sink. 
just to kind of get rid of some of this warmth and give her more of an ashier, cooler tone. So let's do this. her up we're going to take our gloves off relax and then we'll catch you guys back in about 20 minutes so we washed the toner out and we're going to get started on the blowout so once we're all finished I will come back and I'll show you the finished product lightens up the front. We did a root touch-up single process and also a toner. I love it. My lovely model loves it and we're very happy with it. And that concludes the end of our video. Thank you all for watching and giving me the opportunity to show you guys my talent and what I can do. I would like to do a special shout out and thank you to my videographer Jose my lovely boss, Gabriella, for letting me do her hair for the millionth time and for letting me use the salon. And for everybody at Matrix and the whole Matrix team, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing what you guys put out in the future and hopefully working with you. Thank you.